Hiya duck! Today we are doing ocean beach nails because I'm going on holiday soon oh, and I can't wait to swim with the turtles. I hope there's turtles. I'll be so disappointed. I've been told that there's turtles in um, where we're going in Turkey. So I want to do these beach nails just to celebrate my departure of England. You're going to the beach next week this weekend though. Oh, Hartlepool's not really the beach though, is it? <laughs> There's no turtles in Hartlepool. So Andrea already, already has a set on. You may have seen this set on our uh, social medias platforms. Social medias? Social Medias? That's not... No, Kirsty. That's not me. We filmed them on. We filmed no, them, didn't we? we didn't we? film these. No, we didn't. Oh. Um, Photos, maybe. Did them at home. Filmed them at home. Oh, did you? Did so you film them? Hard drive. I think they are. Okay. Somewhere. I don't know. They might be there. I don't know. Anyway, it's got these nails on. So this is like when a client comes to you, they want a new new design, they need an infill, and this is what we're working with. So you can see Andrea's growth. How many weeks, Andrea? Um, I don't know. I think it's five, four. Right, so I've got my dust extractor, or my dust distractor as I like to call it now and then. Um, I have got, on here I have the pink ceramic bit. So we're going to take off the colour. Skip round the area where the product has stopped. So basically, don't go over the natural nail. Make sure you just skip and flat. See how flat I am with the e-file. I'm so flat. Don't be digging in like this because you will create a ring of fire. I'm going to push back the cuticles. So I'm just going to abrase that natural nail, that exposed natural nail, and also blend the acrylic with this sanding band. So we're going to clean up now with the cleanup solution. So we're going to use the um, Nail Can Me Genesis Core Powder in Peach. Oh, very exciting name that is. Must Peach. do better. Yeah. <laughs> Peach. And because I'm doing a fill, I'm going to use Mr. Buttons. So this is our acrylic brush and it's our size 10. So it's uh, we have a size 10 and we have a size 12. The size 10 is what I'm using today. We're going to prep these first. We're going to use the Ultra Bond Prep Digital Primer. So we only, we only need a small bead. Don't forget, we're going to rebuild the apex so as we slide we come we are using the brush very flat with the finger we're not using it high, a high angle it's nice and flat and when you use a flat angle I'll show you what happens again So we get the cuticle nice. And then as we go flat, it leaves the bulk of the product behind, but spreads a little towards the free edge. So you still get that apex. Just want a tiny bit on this end, it looks a little bit thin. Right, here. right, so at this point we've got product on and yes the other product on the other fingers is not set yet but I can start filing this because you know why sit and wait for it to set while this one's set? So we're going to reshape these, Just I say reshape, we're going to tidy the shape up. 
So I'm going to do the free edge first. And Andrea, you've only got to have a sniff of the file around that cuticle and she just bleeds like I've done major surgery on it. I'm very delicate. Delicate, delicate, like darling. Like a flower, yeah, that's yes. exactly it. Little petal. So you can see we've added the apex in the back side of the entire nail. So we now got strength, we've got some thickness into the stress area as well. So these two together will work really well and keep the nail nice and strong. If you ring me in a week's time and tell me you broke your nail, I will be fuming. So I'm going to buff them now, just to get them nice and smooth. You don't have to over buff them, you're just smoothing out. Because if you leave anything that's, you know, possibly a bit lumpy bumpy, then your gel polish will magnify it. And we don't want that. We're going to wipe over with the clean-up solution. This is massively important. Don't just go on to a dusty nail. You need to make sure you're wiping over, cleaning all that dust up from around those side walls in that cuticle area because, you know, the dust loves to hide in the cuticle. Just hides there. You're like, ha, 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 ha. You miss me. <sighs> right, so what I'm going to do now is... I am going to put down this colour, which is called Kaz, after I put the base coat on. But I just want to show you this first. We're going to take a little bit of Kaz, and I'm going to take some of Jeanette. 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 Is that the sand? Oh, she's got it. It's the sand. We're going to take some of this, which is from La Sante. It's called Firework Ash Fireworks. And this is the hard bit about this packaging. It drives me a little bit nuts. Um, it comes with quite a, a decent seal, I suppose. I'm just going to tip a bit of that on there. It's going to be easier than peeling all that off and... Throwing it all over yourself. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. So let's mix these first. So we're going to mix Ness into this colour. That's better, it's more like sand. And we're going to add a touch of this glitter. So we end up with like this sandy colour. Now it's definitely not enough, so we're going to mix more. So base coat on all the nails, nice and thin. Pop them in the lamp. I was going to put the other colour in the background, but I'm not. I think we'll be alright just using this colour straight away. So why is it like if you go to, is it the Bahamas and places like that, the sand's just like, oh, it's just so white. White. That's all the dead stuff. Just loads of dead stuff still. Yeah. It's just white dead stuff. But when you, went, when you go to Tenerife and stuff, it's black, black sand. isn't it? Because it's volcanic. Volcanic sand, sand yeah. yeah. Only on certain parts of the island. Mm. I'm using the Brenda brush because it's much easier to apply. It's a nice shape because it's it's got a rounded tip, so it fits the cuticle area nice. So, we're going to place that and then we're going to like Make sure that that just feathers down. Just So we're going to use Les and we're going to use Hugo. So these are a jelly top coat. I'm going to layer. So we're only going this far up at first. Nice and thin. Doesn't need to be straight. You kind of want it to be a little bit wobbly. Wavy. Wavy, like the waves. Crazy waves.
So now we're going to use Hugo overlapping and going slightly higher. Again, nice and thin. So it kind of looks like the sea is getting deeper. So I feel like it gets greener as it gets deeper. I'm just using the design needle from the Pammy Picker Upper just to pick up a little bit of the colour Hugo. And I'm just neatening up some edges. Even you won't really see them, but I want it to come up to the sides. So I want that to be nice and crisp. So I'm just going to go over with this, with Hugo, over the top of where the green, well, it's not green, it's like a turquoise colour. Um, and just going over with that, and you can see it just deepens the colour. Pop that in. Now I'm going to use base coat. I'm just going to add a little bit of white. So this is white out. And you won't see a lot of this, but I want to just wiggle a little bit through. Right, okay, so this is the fun bit. You're going to pop your white on. So this is on top of the base coat. The base coat's dry, so it's not going to mix. Now we're going to get some bubbles. We're going to make some sea foam. <laughs> Pop me that into the lamp. So then I'm going to burst the bubbles with a lint free pad with clean up solution on. Now we got sea foam. How cool is that? Now you could do this on top of base coat and leave it like that. I know that Andrea, that will bug the hell out of you yeah. if it was left like that. <laughs> so we are going to put top coat on it. So we're going to do all the rest first. So in the bubble solution, we have dish. So, liquid dish soap and water. That is it. Right, so I'm going to use some crystals from Nail Kami and also some of the little caviar beads from Nail Kami. And we've got from Lucente these little gold studs as well. I just think gold will look really nice with it. Mm. Don't really care if you It'd want gold. Cool. Yeah, I don't care if she wants gold. She's having gold. I'm having gold, yeah. yeah. We might throw in a few AB, but we'll see. So when you're doing your top coat, you want to push them up push it up, sorry, to your stones. That will protect them. You may need two coats of your top coat to protect and seal your foam sea waves. Foam sea waves? Yes, yeah. foam sea waves. Pop that in. Sandy beach nails. I love them. I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of cuticle oil. Not one cut. Just saying. Yeah. It's because that's that's a punch in hand. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. toughened it up. That's it. That's what she knocks people out with. Yeah. yeah. Look cool, don't they? Mm. Beautiful. We just need a holiday now. Yeah. To Vegas. Yeah. I know there's no beach there, but you know. Yeah. Lots of sand. Lots yeah. of sand. Just yeah. desert duck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all guys, if you're going on holiday or vacation, then have a wonderful time. Um, and I will see you when I'm back from my holidays. And we're back from Vegas. So, um, yeah, enjoy yourself if you're on holiday, because I'm going to. Be prepared for the overload of holiday pictures on my Instagram. Everything I've used today will be listed below if you're interested, um, along with discount codes, things like that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.